uh, in, that, in that moment, uh, me and Rocket just wanted to have grit. Uh, we wanted to get down, get the team, get the team back on track, and really just try to get stops. I mean, he's a great point guard, and he he found me on a couple good plays. So at that moment, we just wanted to get stops and wanted to get the team just fully together so we can get a win. Uh, I just say I just seen I seen a couple open looks and I and I went for it. Uh, it's all about just believing in myself. I mean, that's really what it was at the end. I felt like on the layup, I had a good drive, had a good opportunity, and I just finished it the best way possible. And Rock hit me with a couple shots. Aaron hit me with a couple shots, and, and I just finished, finished, followed through and finished. So really, at the end, it was just believing in myself and my teammates believing in me just by getting me the ball. Uh, it helps me a lot. It helps me just keep on maintaining my my rhythm and my flow. Um, I work out like a lot, like as, as much as probably Coach Ed's talk about. I probably work out more than that. So I live in a gym. So I really want to just keep on working. That's really what it is. That game doesn't define who it is. It's in the past, and I got to keep on working, keep on getting better for the next games that's coming forward. Well, it means it, mean, it means the world to me. It means that they they see it and they want to they want to get better too. And I'm I want to get better with them. Like Malik is a very great like he's a great player, and I want them out there with me too. So I try even though even though they probably seen it on social media, which I don't have, probably, I don't have Twitter or anything, so I didn't see it. But for him to say that and want to go out there and just help me out any way possible, I mean that's that's what it's all about. All right, great, thank you. You're welcome. Um, Antoine, he's a very great player. Uh, he done he did some very good things on the offensive end to help his team. He was a great leader. He he played D. He did the right things for his team. It's just he didn't come out with a W today, and that's okay. He got a long season to go, and he's a very very great player. He's going to make big things happen in the future. So I'm just blessed enough that I got to just play against him, because later because later on he's going to he's going to shock the world. Um, overall, defensively, even for myself, I got to pick it up. Team has to pick it up. Um, I did some things out there that I shouldn't have done, and I have to pick that up. I have to get back in the gym and just keep on working, watching film and going over the things that's happened. But overall, I'm just happy that we got to got to win. Uh, I'm just very proud of him. I mean, Drew has been through a lot, and I just want to be there as much as I can for him. So right now, I'm just very proud of him, very proud of the things that he does. And people don't know this, but Drew is in the gym. Drew works. Drew tries his hardest to, to be the best that he possibly can be. He watches film. He's there early in the morning. He's one of the, he's one of the guys that will probably leave late at night. So I just, want, I just want people to know that I'm just very proud of him, and his hard work is showing off on the court. And that's what that's all you can ask for. I mean, God has his back through thick and thin. So I I just want to be there for him, be there for his ride. One follow up, if I can, is that this summer obviously the passing of his dad, that was obviously very hard on him and everyone else on the team. But how have you seen him kind of not use that as I guess a motivation factor? But how have you seen him change his game or maybe his his mental mindset in uh, terms of that? Um, since I, I I've been through it and I still go through it every day 
Um, I just try to be there for them. I mean, that's one thing. We both went through the same similar similar situations, and I know we both think differently. But if if my experience can help him too, and his experience can help me too, then that's the best thing possible. We both can help each other, and for him to for him to go through that, I feel like it's made it's made him stronger, it's made him tougher, it's made him a whole complete player. He's playing to me. He's playing out his mind right now because I'm 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 a Julius Marble fan. I'm his number one fan, so. I'm just happy that he's doing the things that he's doing and everything everything is coming along for him. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, it, it's a weird situation, but I mean, that's the reason why you came to Michigan State. You got to be mentally tough and physically tough. So it's going, it's, it's a, it's a hard stretch. But in the tournament, you don't get no days off. So we just got to get used to it. In the tournament, you're gonna have days where you're gonna keep on going games back to back to back to back. So you just got to be prepared, and this is the best time for it. And I feel like our team is just doing a great job of just doing that. I mean, we got the we got the captains, Josh Frosty and um, and Aaron. They're doing a great job, so I feel like everything is just coming along right for us. Do you feel like you guys are mentally ready in case the game does get called off to kind of put it aside and move on to the next? Uh, like that? uh, yeah, we'll we'll put it aside probably. I mean, that's what you got to do. Um, but overall, we just got to keep on working and looking forward to the next opponent. We're not worried about we're not worried about three games after this, four games, five games after this. We're about the next game, the next practice, and the next player. It's gonna, it's gonna prepare us in a lot of ways. I mean, we gotta watch film, we gotta go back and study the things that we were doing out there today. And it's gonna prepare us because you never can you never can slip up with any team. Any team can beat you. And it's 2020, there are a lot of good teams out there and a lot of good players and a lot of great coaches. So at this point, you gotta, you gotta be prepared to step in any game and really just, just play. Uh, just by watching film. That's a, that's the main thing Coach is Coach is puts in us. He wants us to watch film. He wants us to look at our mistakes, look at the things as a team that we weren't doing. Like, I think one time, I think it was one game. It might have been Notre Dame where the bench wasn't as loud. He he looks at those type of things, and that prepares us for the next game. So everything we look at, we look at it in order for us to get better. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate all you guys.